We'll begin with communications, starting with cellular cards, better known as wireless WAN cards, or WAN. Some laptops and other mobile devices come with cellular access built in. Others might need it as an add-on. In order to connect to 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G, and other networks, a laptop would need to either have an internal device or an external device. Though you might see many PCI Express, M.2 is the preferred form factor as of the recording of this video in 2018. Here we have an M.2 card that allows for 4G access. Sometimes you'll find these pre-installed on business laptops. In other cases, you might need to add one. This particular type of M.2 is a 2230, meaning it's 22 millimeters wide by 30 millimeters long. This is common for laptops, but it's still important to check the type of slot in the system and make sure that the card you wish to use is compatible because you might also encounter 2242, 2262, or even 2280 in laptops. And 2280 is usually the standard in PCs, but you'll find that on some high-end laptops as well. And by the way, M.2 used to be called NGFF, Next Generation Form Factor. But because there's always something new coming out, the term next generation is relative, and it becomes quickly obsolete. So it was changed to M.2. Sometimes you might need a combo card that can handle WAN and WLAN, handle both of those, especially if there's only one M.2 slot in the laptop, which is common for laptops as well as PCs. However, if you're not allowed to remove a current WLAN card, local area network, then an external solution will have to be found. For example, we could use something USB-based, like this. Here we have a device that not only acts as a cellular gateway for a laptop, but can also act as a mobile hotspot for other mobile devices quite often as many as 10. Or if you have an older laptop, one that was manufactured before, say, 2005 or so, then you might have to go with one of the credit card size devices. Express card is one option if the laptop is actually equipped with an express card slot. And that comes in two sizes. You've got slash 34, which is 34 millimeters wide and slash 54, which is 54 millimeters wide. Before that was the PCM CIA standard, also known as PC card. It's unlikely that you'll see or use these technologies, but on older laptops, check the side for a credit card size slot. And you might you know, have to go with that option. But generally, you're going to want to go with the USB or internally the M.2. And here's a tech tip for you. Watch out for older technologies and their devices. The trend as of the recording of this video is for companies to charge a fortune for these legacy cellular devices. It's often better to upgrade the laptop or upgrade to a new laptop as opposed to paying these exorbitant fees that usually result in poor performance anyway. You know, something that's going to run like this on USB 3.0 or higher is going to be, uh, you know, light years ahead of something like this. So watch out for that because companies will charge a lot of money for those older devices and it really isn't worth it. Okay, so there's a little bit about cellular cards and WAN connectivity.